Hi, I'm Ross Smith with Hanna Instruments. I'd like to introduce you to the HI8424 portable meter. This unit measures pH, millivolt, and temperature in Celsius. Now I'd like to show you what comes in the box when you receive your unit. You'll receive a calibration certificate for the meter, a testing certificate for the pH probe, a testing certificate for the temperature probe, the HI8424 pH meter, a pH probe, a temperature probe, instruction manual, buffers, calibration solution, all contained in this rugged plastic carrying case. Now I'd like to show you some features of the unit. Here we have the LCD display which shows pH, millivolt, and temperature in either Celsius or Fahrenheit, the on off button, the range button, the hold button that will hold the readings, temperature buttons for manual temperature compensation, calibration button, setup button. We have an RCA connector for the uh, temperature probe, we have a BNC connector for the pH probe, and we have the battery compartment. Now we'll hook up the probes and turn the meter on. Now we've inserted the probes and we'll turn the meter on. Immediately you'll see the battery percentage level and now the display is showing pH. We can use the hold button to hold the reading. We can use the range button to show temperature, millivolt, or back to pH. Temperature buttons. Right now with the uh, temperature probe in we have automatic temperature compensation. If we took the temperature probe out, we could use these buttons for manual temperature compensation and adjust it manually. In the millivolt range we can see pH in millivolt or we could use an ORP electrode. The setup button, if you hold it down for three seconds, you can use some of the features. You have the auto off feature you can time it so that in 20 minutes the unit will shut off or not. You can also turn the beeps on or off. And you can switch manually from Celsius to Fahrenheit. Now I'll show you how to calibrate the pH probe. Now we'll turn on the unit. As this is a new pH electrode, we need to condition it. We'll use HI70300 storage solution. We need to do this for up to two hours. If we don't have any storage solution on hand, we can use any one of our buffers. Now that two hours has passed, we'll rinse the probe with some purified water. and place it in the pH 7 buffer. We'll hit the calibration key and we'll wait for a CFM to show up on the display. Once we see that and it beeps, we'll hit the confirmation button. Now it's prompting us for pH 4. You can use either pH 4 or 10 if you want to do a pH a two point calibration. In this case, we're going to measure an acid, so we'll use pH 4. Now we just need to wait for the confirmation and press the button. Now we're ready to measure. Now that we've completed our measurement, it's time to put the probe away. We need to use some of our storage solution in the, in the protective cap to maintain the condition of the probe. If you don't have storage solution, you can use any one of our buffers. If you happen to have drifting readings, it may mean that the probe is dirty and you might need to use one of our cleaning solutions. Thank you for your attention. If you have any questions, please do not hesitate to contact one of our local HANA offices.